Good evening. Oh, wait a minute. Let me sit down and get in your view just so you can look at my pretty face. Uh, good evening. Um, I want to talk about uh, this phenomena of perfection. Uh, I've talked about it before. The first time I said that I realized consciously that life is perfect uh, was shortly after my dad committed suicide. Uh, I delivered his eulogy in a Christian church and uh, spoke some unchristian principles because I don't believe that my dad uh, is burning in hell somewhere because he had the courage to take his life. But on the way back from the church to my grandma's house, I got this overwhelming sense of perfection, that, that his life was perfect. Now my mind, that little voice inside my head, argued with me. Well, he was only 67 years old. He should have lived longer. I know, but it was perfect. And he committed suicide. Yeah, I know, I know, I got that. But somehow there was a perfection to his life uh, that, that I couldn't explain. I didn't experience that again until, oh, many years later, when I did a class in the technology I now teach, uh, self-actualization learning technology, uh, and I got the same sense of perfection, but I saw that it could be intentionally created. Uh, what's, what's inspired this conversation is we went to Italy last week. We went on vacation. My daughter is... Uh, Part of her school, she has to go work in a uh, fancy restaurant, preferably. Uh, she's at a big hotel school in Switzerland, I guess world-renowned. And uh, she got this job at a resort in Italy, southern Italy, down near Bali, down B-A-L-I. Uh, I've never been there. We drove down. It took us 12 hours there, 12 hours back. Uh, we did it both on Sundays. Traffic was pretty good. And, but when we got down there, first of all, I noticed my daughter was real happy, uh, real bright in her eyes, real balanced. And we were driving from her where she worked and lives uh, to our apartment, which was 20 minutes maybe, uh, little Italian streets along the coast, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, but she said, Dad, this thing, this perfection thing is a state of mind. And I said, okay, talk to me, because I, I could see that she had formulated an idea around it, but I wanted to hear what her thinking on it was, because she said, okay, life is perfect. That's true. I look around and I know it's perfect, even when it doesn't feel perfect, it's perfect. She said, but if, she said, I, I talk to people and they can't see the perfection, so it must be a state of mind. It can't, and you could see her going out into the paradox, the paradoxical world, where there's this dual world that we live in, and you look around and you think there's no way that this can be perfect, but there are times when you get a glimpse of reality and you see that it is perfect. And I had to ask her a couple times, you know, okay, talk to me again about this thing that you see as perfection. Now, she's in what my sister calls right now the happy dream. She's working in a kitchen. She's learning an immense amount of stuff that she truly wants to learn. Uh, she just went from the kitchen into the pastry chef department, and she's uh, learning pastry for two months. Uh, but in her time off, she came and uh, made a seafood salad and made us breakfast whenever she was there. Uh, she just loves what she's doing. She has found her niche, and she said it may not always be that, which is the truth. Uh, she Right now, it's totally captivating for her, and she can get in the resonant frequency of perfection. State of mind, state of body, state of you, I don't know. I know. Uh, for me, the last few weeks have been challenging. I haven't been working nearly enough doing my seminars. Uh, when I do kinesiology, it, uh, it helps, but it's not the same. And I've been trying to make the distinctions. When I do my seminars, everybody is perfect. And I don't uh, question that. I can see people in their perfection. And I can, and when I leave, I get that sense of perfection for myself. When I do my doctor work, I don't do that. And I don't know if the difference because it's therapeutic, because I'm sure that there's some doctors who can do that. And while the self-actualization is healing, it's not therapeutic. I never address people's problems. I never know what I'm doing, and I'm always comfortable with it. So just trying to clarify a little bit. Life is perfect. Your life is perfect. Whether it appears that way or not now is According to Naomi, a state of mind, uh, and it might just be how things are right now. Have fun, www.micpeakperformance.com.